The story of Homey started when Josh and I moved to Iowa in February. And even though we did move in February, and even though this piece of property is only 12 acres, we decided to go shed hunting anyways. And as luck would have it, we found this awesome deer that we decided to name Homey. We started putting cameras out over the summer and we were so excited to see Homie had made it and he had blown up into an Iowa stud. As summer progressed and news hit that EHD was eradicating Iowa, we were very nervous that Homie was not going to survive. Either way, we were going to make the most of our 12 acre property. We started clearing out brush and thickets to put in food plots to hopefully draw those deer in. We planted the food plots in mostly clover and part of them in turnips. And as deer season got closer and closer, we could finally see the fruits of our labor paying off. Everything was coming up full and lush, and we knew that these plots would be a great food source for the deer. But unfortunately, as season came, Homie became less and less consistent. His home range was expanding and his appearance on our 12 acre property was few and far between. Mid-October came and the bucks started hitting scrapes hard. So Josh went out and made a few large mock scrapes in the food plot to hopefully give Homie another reason to come to the food plot other than food. Our plan worked perfectly. Once every four days, we were seeing Homie on camera checking those scrapes and in daylight. So we knew that if he kept this pattern, we just might get a chance at him. So the hunt is on. Well, it's October 25th and we are back in Iowa. We didn't have any luck in Illinois yet, but we are back. Josh is actually hunting a different deer on a different farm. I'm hunting a really awesome buck, home homie. So I guess that's what we're gonna call him and we've been seeing him all season, so we're hoping that he comes in tonight. He's one of our most consistent deer, so we're hoping that it happens tonight. Wish us luck. Well, it's October 26th, and we are in the same spot we sat last night. We didn't unfortunately see anything, but we're hoping tonight's different. A cold front's moving in in a few days, so we're hoping that the, uh, the deer are on their feet. He was in the other spot yesterday at about five, just never came in. And then he was in there this morning too, so we know he's close. I'm just hoping that he comes in.
third night hunting for him. <laughs> my first buck in Iowa. This is why we moved out here. Oh my gosh. This deer was super, super consistent, but the past two days we've sat, he just hasn't come in. He didn't hit the other camera. We had five does come in yesterday, and we thought, we thought he was going to come in, and he didn't, and we didn't have any deer activity at all. It's, Five o'clock right now. And Bryce looked up his scary as a little mic. And he just went down. He was at 31 yards. I thought he was gonna win this. Oh my god. Did you see him look? Yeah, he was he was he was on to us. I just think that I don't know. He just finally turned. I didn't even think I was gonna get a shot. Oh my god. You can see him? Yeah, I can see him. Well, I got the deer. What? I got the deer. I not only did I hit him, I see him laying there. Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Babe. Did he come right in? Tell me about No, he stopped at like he stopped at 37 and I was like, oh I'm gonna shoot him out there. And then he turned and was facing us and then he started doing his little lip curl thing because he could smell us. Calm down for a second, then he moved to 34, but he was facing me the whole time. And then finally he got up to 31, and he turned, yep. and I thought he was going to go behind a tree, but he just stopped, and I freaking smashed him. <laughs> he had 31, and we watched him. Um, I watched him fall. Where did he back to you? Towards the pond. Yeah. And he fell. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My biggest deer. Ever by far. Looks like he ran around and then came over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is an incredible Iowa whitetail. Oh man. We moved in February and we started going to work right away on food plots and getting everything ready. Is this. Easily my biggest white tail I've ever killed. Josh, I don't even know how big he thinks he is, but he was hyping me up the whole time. It's gonna be your biggest white tail, it's gonna be your biggest deer. Oh man. It's like frozen. How freaking cool. This is a huge deer. Probably one of the biggest body deer I've ever killed. Oh my goodness. Such an incredible deer. We have such awesome history with him. He's been on trail camera for weeks and weeks and it seems every time we hunted somewhere else there he was right on camera in daylight and of course we were sitting somewhere else and I'm like you know what I want to hunt that deer Josh can hunt the big deer the big big deer that we've got on camera and day three of hunting this guy and it worked out <sighs> what a stud oh my god What do you think? Get some photos? Yeah. My first buck in Iowa. This is why we moved out here. It's easily my biggest white tail I've ever killed. Oh my god. Deer is like literally 30 yards away from us right now. Incredible Iowa white tail. What a stud. Oh my god.